What is up, everybody? Yes, it is AOT and this goes here with the first episode of our BS Class of the Week. Okay, BS Class of the Week is a new series that I will be starting. It is about BS classes that are underrated, sometimes overpowered, like you can see in this one right here. This class itself is, is a Type 95 holographic um, silencer. Well, of course, it has two attachments. So the secondary is an MP9 suppress, C4, and portable radar, side of hand, hardline, steady aim. And for the um, kill streaks, it is attack dropper, AC-130, and Osprey Gunner. I was really close to the double Osprey this game. And the BS class of the week is also BS gameplay. This one is just absolute spawn rape. I pretty much stand here the whole time and get an Osprey. Just, they don't stop. And there is that team art spot on the boxes right there that this can counter. So the what you need with the type is this isn't a gun you can rush around with if you try you will fail unless you have like Chuck Norris style type that's like full auto and stuff but the reason I chose the type for this map I was just going to use it to troll but then I used it on this map just because of the ranged encounters and just how well this type could work on this map I'm using the holographic because holographic I'm not sure how you want to pronounce it because I don't really like the iron sights on it their choices, in my opinion, are either hybrid, red dot, or holographic. I easily could have used extended mags for that extra ammo, but also at this point, I don't even know if I had it, but also the situation wouldn't have worked if I wasn't camping. Because the reason I was camping is the only reason I could have used it. Because at that point, they already knew where I was. I was owning them time and time after. Um, if you guys know Link's Warlord, this is his kill streak setup. I'm not going to take credit for it. Because that wouldn't be cool. Okay, it goes attack chopper AC-130 Osprey. Uh, most of you guys probably know about it already. The Osprey is easy to get if you do this. So next week, I think it might actually be the M16. M16 is an underpowered gameplay. And then, like sometimes a BS gameplay is the free and like in free for all, where I'll be killed and I'll spawn in like around the corner from the dude, and he's already sprinting to the corner. Doesn't work. And once you have like a chopper up and you're waiting for like, a certain amount of kills, don't start going all Rambo on people, sprinting around, picking up a striker, and just trying to go ham. Because you can do it, but it won't always work. I chose the MP9 silencer because that's what I like best with it. Extended Max is also another viable choice. I prefer silencer just because it removes muzzle flash and kick. And also, I usually. MP9 is. I'd say the only secondary I use really, besides maybe pistols on my MSR class. So for this gameplay, I, I get two choppers, two AC-130s, and I don't think I managed to pull off a second Osprey if I remember currently. Here I pick up the AC, but I made a very bad decision. Right here, I don't think I actually prone. I should have made the better choice, because in my opinion, even though I doubt it since I'm running a sword, I could have actually hit the mode. Somebody in my team, not somebody I know, but actually gets the mo. And these people were just terrible. Full on terrible. I don't know what they were doing, I have no clue, but they were just not succeeding. I don't know if it's happened yet, but I killed it. No, it's not yet, never mind, so. Okay. The Osprey is a very good kill streak. Most people don't use it because it is a 17 kill streak and might be hard to get. But if you can get it, you can easily get EX. It's an EXP way of grinding. Because if you guys remember MW2, it was 250 XP for Shandy Care Packet, even though now it's only um, uh, 25, which I don't really like. Here I was looking for spawn and the sense to drop flat. But what I hate is like a few minutes or seconds after, the flag switch. They get C and I believe we lose A. At first, sometimes I'm not really good with soul kill streaks. I don't use them much. So I don't think I picked up that many kills with this, but I did. I'm proud of this game. It was a 37 divided by 2. Um, 15, 15 is 30. 18. I think it's like an 18.5 KD or something like that. This game was pretty good. I liked it. I was pr happy that I got this. And right there, I don't like that you can look straight down. I just could not get him. It was irritating me. I was like, do 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 just like the old chopper gun in MW2. That was honestly my favorite kill streak back in MW2. It was just uh, a lot better than the AC in my opinion. 
those were the good old days. In my opinion, MW2 still the best, if not tied with COD 4 for the best Call of Duty ever. See, um, that person, I can't really read it from the screen and watching, drops a mode. I believe he was using the MP7 for this game. Which, I actually like the MP7, you might call it cheap or other stuff, but I actually, yeah, it's cheap, but I like it. Okay, so here I did die since that last one. As you can see, I'm only one kill into my uh, kill streak count again. I guess I had died there, and then I had I had died one more time because wait, I'm not sure. But I'm really lost on this game. I haven't. This game is like a couple of days old, and I haven't actually rewatched it yet. Okay, let's talk about bootleg real quick. Bullet Lake is a very open map. Air support works well unless their team's smart, I guess. But air support works very well. There, I made a really stupid decision. I just sprinted around the corner with a type. Like, see that? You die if you just sprint. And back to the exact same spot. Just going ham. Bullet Lake is a very open map. It's good for snipers and long range assault rifles. Like, not like the AK or FAD wouldn't work very well. Like, type ACR, M16, I guess, Scar L, G3 would work very well on this map. MK and a couple of others. Shotguns are effective on this map, and also are some machine guns. The only guns I really wouldn't recommend for this gun are LMGs, because to start up the gun, actually, to start shooting, I believe it's like half a second. So sprinting around corners could just slow you down. Look, it, do sprints by me, I'm just like, oh, where'd you go? Oh! There you go. And here, this is a very good spot too. Team Martin as well. I did not use. I did not create these. Here, look at. I I can just jump out if people don't notice me. This team was. I got really lucky this match. See, that dude didn't notice me either, or he might have died. But either way, here, as you can see, this the game is almost over. So I'm just starting to sprint around, trying to pick up that last AC-130. Look at that dude jumped down right next to me. Here I pick up an MK-14. Okay, bootleg, uh, back to bootleg. The main traffic areas are A. Well, actually, the only main traffic areas are actually the flags, which is actually kind of surprising, except C. The main traffic area is B, like um, almost on all maps. If you can make it so that they can't get to B and flank you, you can easily have a huge advantage. Thank you for watching the first BS class of the week. This was ATX Go signing up. Peace!